Oh, hello, mate. You're not looking too peachy there. What's wrong with you? You, you don't kind of look like this. Oh. Oh, you're from a different universe, you say. Well, that explains quite a lot. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, sir. My name is Water Shaw. What brings you here to this universe, anyway? Oh, you're on a mission to record sound effects across the ASMR verse. Well, you're in luck, because I just so happen to have a couple of things lying about. Uh, right, what can I, what can I show you first? Uh, these are, these are a good one. I call these my water ants. Now these are very special, these water ants. Because they're ants made of water. These things are very useful tools in this multiverse. In this ASMR verse, as I should say. As you have described it, obviously I have no idea what that means. Come round here with your fancy words. Anyway. These things I have here are a very useful tool. You may think, well, you're in a water universe, why do you need water ants? Well, water ants are very important in a water universe. It may sound ironic, but water ants are designed for telling if something is wet or not. Now, it's funny, even though in this universe we are made up of water, we still don't have water receptors, which I know is a bit balmy, but what can I say, I was just born that way. We can't actually tell if something's wet, we just feel changes in temperature. So to combat this, we got the water ions. Yeah, so these, these ants right here are used if we see something that may be wet or covered in water, you say. Just get out a water ant, <whistles> drop it in the water, and funny enough, they turn red. They are blue when they are not wet. And red when they are wet. But you might say, well, you're covered in water. Why aren't they changing? Different DNA, governor. It's all about their different DNA. Anyway, that's enough for the water ions. You want another sound? Well, let's have a look what I got. Ah, this is a good one water jar. Yeah. 
very, very unusual sound. Well, you better have your good recording equipment, because that's a lovely sound. A lot of glass in this dimension. Well, especially with the watery hands, the glass. It doesn't rust. You're saying I'm very professional this well. I have worked in the water business my entire life. Seems to be the only job you can get around here. Covered in water, working with water, and we eventually wash away in water. The full circle of water life. However, we're not very good on a hot day because we might evaporate. But we don't get many hot days, so we don't worry about that. Right, I believe. You want you want a little more. Um What have we got next? Ah, uh, you remember when I was talking about his war hands earlier? Well, that is called water bricks. Now, these bad boys. Detecting the water. As you can tell from the reddish hue that there is indeed lots of water in this jar and you may say well water sure why why do you need to detect all this water you know you're literally made of water that is red well different different types of water you see You got your heavy and you still You filtered, you volcanic filtered. We don't go near volcanoes though. She's one step of lava turned to rock me. So I think you bloody want one second you you're uh, you know this lovely water beast the next man. You're a bloody rock. We say that water and uh, water and lava don't mix, but uh, well, they don't. Obviously, my cousin he got turned to steam. Oh, that was one sad day. He was making uh, water spaghetti bolognese. Stupid idiot touched the bloody hob. Turn the steam was hanging around the ceiling for a bloody 
couple of hours and all evaporate and drip down. You're thinking about calling the water station, but I mean, we never really liked him, to be honest. You know, he wasn't all that, you know, a bit. Bit of a drip, really. Well, he was dripping a lot. Got turned to bloody steam. That's enough about him, his happy ending in the end. He uh, fell in love with a lake and just kind of hopped in there. He became one with the water, I suppose. Although I can't remember if she was uh, fresh or salty, but uh, nah, it doesn't really matter. You want me to bloody shut up and just keep making sounds? Well, that's fair enough. Sometimes I've got a tendency to go, you know, rambling on a bit of water, folks, too. Been to uh, any ex uh, any uh, other exciting uh, ASMR verses recently? Oh, you went to one with a lot of wood there, did you? Uh, see, you're not going to find much wood in this universe. The only problem with bloody water is we rot the wood. Houses, right, telling you, maximum for year, if that. Mold, mold, my mold, that's a big problem in this world. But the mushrooms love it, anyway. On to the next one now. I've only got a couple more for you. I don't want to, don't want to bore you to death. Otherwise, I'll be here all bloody afternoon. Yeah, this is a good one. This is... Uh... See, I was brought up in the uh, the water military on the... Uh... Water Cannon Squadron. And... Uh... This was my water flask. I know, it seems a bit un unusual for me to have to drink water, but... I don't ask much questions around here. None of us do, we just get on with our watery lives. Uh, I suppose we're quite simple folk, really. Just kind of wake up, bit of water in the morning, lunch time, bit more water, come back home for a bit of tea, um, about say a half pint of water, and supper in the uh, in the evening again. A little bit of water with that, and then. Go to bed, got to make sure I've got a cup of water, uh, and then midnight snack, maybe just, uh, you know, with a little shot of water. I like to keep it simple, you know what I'm saying? Seven fifty mil in here. Uh, I'm not too sure of certain though, but about 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 maybe even a liter. I don't know. It's about a meal or two. You know, nothing really fancy. I'd offer you some water, but I've got a feeling our water in this universe is just slightly different. It's uh, H2O. Oh, that's different to what yours is. Wow. Thought I could have been faithful then. Want a swig of the water here and buy me. 
you're dead before you can even say bloody hydration. Anyway, I believe it's time we go on to the next and uh, I believe final uh, water source. So if you can just give me one second. Here we have my little lunchtime snack. Which I'm bloody looking forward to, but then you bloody shut up, big portal, oh, lots of flashing lights. Saying hello would sure I'd like you to make some bloody sense. I only got obliged though, I can't really say anything there. I'm being paid for this right, aren't I? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, our local currency. We have a uh, GDWP. Or a uh, uh, BPW. Yeah. BWP, that's not BWP. British Wolf Hands, I can never remember what it is. What was that? You've got a Britain as well, where you come from. Wow. Bet it's not as wet as this one. It's even wetter, blimey. I thought it rained it all here. What do you think of this glass ball anyway? Is it up to your standards of uh, sound effects universe? I don't know what you're even doing here, mate. Better be given a good tip for this. And water culture is, you know, you you pay up or you just, you know, you wash away. Left in tears, mate. Tears ain't salty here. Tears here, they run, they stream. I had a third cousin on my uncle's side that, uh, she had some bad news one day that her cousin had bloody evaporated into smoke and uh, into steam, I should say, and then uh, cried so much she washed her way down to the uh, the bath plug. Don't talk about her, you know, she quite an emotional person. Anyway, I'd say that's probably about it. You've had enough of this uh, water stuff. I, I mean, I'm surprised by the sounds of it. You know, you come from water, Britain, I suppose you just scoop up some bloody water there. Give that a, give that a bell. That probably sounds exactly the same anyway. It was uh, nice to do uh, business with you, sir. Oh, yes. Sorry, I thought I'd just uh, quickly check to make sure you were... Uh, you're not a water imposter, you know, just just in case. And, uh, well, judging by the colour of this, it bloody dries out, oh, mate. Suggests a bit of moisturiser or something, I don't know. Anyway, it was a pleasure meeting you, and, uh, well, I used up all my bloody lunch breaks, so I may as well just wash off away back to work, so. See you in the next one, Governor.